asset management is an ongoing living system. It's not something that you just decide to do one day and all of a sudden you flip a switch and, you, and you're done. It's you build into maturity. It's a lot of work, right? Um, and especially when you start taking into account how to engage the community to inform your search, it, it really um, can be overwhelming. And so I think taking, um, having something like the asset management policy to give some sense of, of direction helps focus in on, you know, what, where do I need to focus my attention and resources, limited resources um, most? What's going to get me the biggest gains? Engage everyone appropriately. We need to know what our current practices are. We need to know what service we actually want to provide to who, where, and when, and how. And then compare that to where, where we are today and make those adjustments. And so stepping back, it's like the, the goals of equity and anti-racism and inclusion are 100% supported by the tools of asset management. There's another concept of catch up, keep up, get ahead. You can't get ahead if you're playing catch up or if you need to play catch up. And oftentimes I see the new shiny thing or the new technology, but we haven't adequately dealt with our, the maintenance of our core services, right? The assets that support core services. And I think a lot of municipalities are experiencing this um, where we have a backlog of work. And yet here we are putting forward projects that rely on that network of, of um, basic services, but they're not super functional, right? Or they're at, at risk of failing. And so what does that do for your new shiny thing when it, you try to kick it on and uh, the underlying infrastructure isn't there to support it? We had a champion in leadership position who really provided support. And it was our chief financial officer and they um, saw the value and really, you know, they weren't asset management experts, but they encouraged us. And so we embarked on writing a policy.